decided to take some time out from the show just to focus on myself and some personal projects that I have in the mix. If I'm honest, I don't really know what I expected from being on the show. Um, so I can't say if it's different to what I expected or whatever because I didn't really know what to expect. But all I can say about it now is, um, yeah, I don't regret doing it. It's been it's been a good good thing in my life for me to do. It is hard to deal with sometimes. It is a lot of work, but I don't regret any of it, and I'll do it all over again. My reaction from appearing on Team Mum UK has been pretty good, all in all, I would say. Uh, I feel like a lot of people can relate to my story and what's happened throughout the series. Um, so yeah, I think I've had pretty, a pretty good reaction from people. For the first two series, people wouldn't really come up to me. I'd have a couple of people, if that. Um, but since the third series, I've had a lot more people come up to me and recognise me. Like when I'm out, I'll catch people looking at me or giving me funny looks and then tapping their friends and saying, oh, that's Megan, that's Megan. Um, and I do get quite a few people come up to me and I like it when people come up to me and talk to me and not like shy away and get all embarrassed. I like it when people talk to me. So yeah, I do, do get people recognise me quite a lot now. The best thing about being on Team Mum would probably be meeting all of the other cast members because we've all got a really good relationship now. The worst thing would probably be when people have negative comments about you. Just want to say a massive, massive thank you to everyone who watches the show, everyone who follows me on my socials, everyone who messages me lovely stuff. I do try to get back to as many of you as possible, but sometimes it's difficult because there's so many messages. But yeah, massive thank you, massive big up to you, because without you lot, we wouldn't have been able to get as far as we have. I'm Mia from Team Mum UK. I live in Southampton. I'm 21. I'm Mum to Malia, who is two. I've decided to take a break from Team Mum UK Series 4 because I've decided to focus on my new relationship and Malia. I'd love to come back for another series, and I don't think you've seen the last of me yet. Malia has changed so much since filming Team Mum UK Series 3. She talks, she talks back, she says no to me about everything, um, but she's like a proper little girl. Like, she, we can have conversations. Like, me and her can go out for the day and we just talk. Since the last series of Team Mum UK, I've just been working, I went on holiday, um, I've been focusing on Malia really, like been taking her out, um, where she's getting bigger it's hard to just sort of stay in a lot now, so we've been going out, doing fun things, obviously the weather's been so hot, it's amazing. My reaction from being on Team Mum UK was all good, so obviously I had a few negative comments, but most of the comments were amazing, everyone was so lovely to me, everyone gave me so much support, so thank you for that. When I'm out, people do recognise me, I like it, like I like speaking to people, a lot of people say, oh I really look up to you, and I think me. I'm still in contact with all the girls from Team Mum UK. I get along so well with all of them. Like, obviously, they're amazing girls. Like, we've gone through loads together. Like, we've always been there for each other throughout all the series. And yeah, I think we'll always, we'll always be friends for life. They're lovely. I think the biggest lesson I've learned from being on Team Mum UK is to just not take life too seriously. Like, I look back on some of the situations I was in, and I think I was quite dramatic about some of them. Like, the Erin situation about her staying at Maggie's. Like, now, when I look back on it, I would have done things a lot differently. The best thing about appearing on Team Mum UK was being able to watch Marley's birth back, her first birthday. Like it's memories that you always have in your head, but you don't get to relive. But I get to relive it all the time because I can watch it back. Like watching her birth back is amazing. The worst thing about it is probably watching myself back because series one, obviously I put four stone on when I was pregnant. So looking back at my face, it was literally like fat. I look back and I think, oh my god, I went on TV like that message to everyone would be thank you so much for all your support you're all amazing thank you so much for all your messages your likes on my pictures your comments on my pictures like all of your support doesn't go unnoticed and i hope you enjoy the next series watching all the other girls grow in their stories and hopefully i'll be back soon